This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another edition of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in from a user on what is the differences between document save, file save, and tool save inside of ZBrush. So this is a, a pretty good question. So here I have ZBrush loaded up, and the question is referring to these different palettes. So we have the document palette up here that has a save function. We have the file palette that has a save function. And then we have the tool palette that has a save function. So to start off, we're going to talk about the tool palette. So the tool palette save is only going to save the tool you have selected. So if I have the rifle selected here and I go to save as, it's going to save the file as a ZTL. Now when you save this model, it's only going to save this tool that we have selected and any corresponding subtools that are connected to it. Now, if I go over here to the file menu and go file save as and save this out, this is going to save the project as a ZPR or a ZBrush project file. Now, when this is saved, it's going to save any tools that are over here that are loaded inside a ZBrush. It's going to save whatever matte cap you have selected. It's going to save your camera angle. If you have grid on, pretty much anything that's active inside a ZBrush, it's going to save in that file. So the main differences for saving 3D data between using the file save as for a project and the tool save as is that the tool is only going to take one tool and the project is going to save all loaded tools. Now the last one is the document save. And if you save a document, all it's going to save is the document in 2.5D. So it's not going to save any 3D information related to your model. So this is going to give you the same effect so if you come over here and just turn off edit. So right now this model is in the 2.5D canvas. If I come over here and say select the eraser brush, you can see I can erase this because it is 2.5D and it has depth information, but I won't be able to rotate this model. So no 3D data is going to be saved with the document save. Only the 2.5D canvas will be saved in this method. So if you want to save your 3D files out for later use, you're going to want to either use the file save as to save a ZPR or a ZBrush project file, or the tool save as to save it as a ZBrush tool file or a ZTL. So I hope that helps. And if you have any additional ZBrush related questions, please post them on Twitter with hashtag AskZBrush. Happy ZBrushing.